Hi, this is Steve Stein from Guitar Zoom, and I want to remind you how important it is that you keep track of your practicing uh, elements in a journal or some sort of notebook, okay? So you know what you're practicing, right? What your goals are, what you're practicing on a daily basis, the speeds at which you're practicing those things if you're using a metronome, which is really nice to have. I always think of it like um, there are certain things that I will practice that I don't need a metronome for, but then there are other techniques that I need to, to use a metronome. Uh, I was a sprinter in high school. So if you're a sprinter and you're running, you know, 200 meters or 100 meters or something like that, the tenth of a second makes all the difference in the world on your speeds. If you're not keeping track of your speeds, you have no idea whether you're getting better or getting worse or, you know, nothing is changing. And that's what's great about a metronome um, is for certain things is being able to use it to keep track of your speeds, to know that you're on track. And you can also uh, keep track of how much better you're getting over time, you know, every three months or whatever it might be, keeping track of, of the excel, um, acceleration of your speeds, which is really nice. So the point is, is having this journal or this notebook that has all of your things written down. So if you do come across something new that you want to implement into your daily practice routine, you have to decide, do I have room for all 10 of these things every day or every other day or however you have your practice routine set up? Or when I pull these one or two new things in, do I need to eliminate these other things? Or there might be things that are written in your journal that you really have succeeded at. You've reached the goals that you're looking at. You know, you wanted to memorize the five positions of the pentatonic and you've done that, right? You might continue working on using it uh, in the real world and technically being able to play it more proficiently, all those sorts of things. But the actual memorization of it has been completed. You really do have it. Um, and so you don't need to remind yourself every day to practice it. So you might move that off of your page and move something new onto that page. So keeping track of your stuff with a journal or a notebook is a really, really great thing to be able to do. So take care and I'll speak to you soon. Hi there. Thank you so much for watching this video. I certainly hope that it helped you a little bit. Um, if you enjoyed the video, please do me a huge favor and either like it, subscribe to the channel, share it, or comment on it. Okay, that's going to help us out enormously. Um, and then we can keep in contact with you when we have new material that comes out. And if you uh, enjoy the video, we've got some other videos over here that you can watch that might be able to help you on your guitar journey as well. And if you look up on the top there, you're going to see there's a little eye up there. If you click on that, we are going to be giving you a free gift just to say thank you for watching the video. Um, and then if you'd like to follow us on social media, you can use the term at GuitarZoom and you can find us there. All right. So take care, keep practicing and have a great day.